Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Dreams of Poland mod, which I am, of course, Mr. Mocha Lover, but we're continuing on. Now, this is obviously not where we left off because, well, Africa looks a little bit very Habsburg-y, as well as parts of Asia, China, and even Canada. So, let's talk about it. So, I've suffered about 1.7 million casualties, and I have decided to capitulate as many people as I possibly could so far. And as you can see the list, I've gone to war with so many people. Holy cow. So many people. But I decided to start recording. Uh, also, Australia is now a major, which sucks, as well as Canada. But we, half of Canada's already gone, and I, we've already started playing a naval invasion of Australia. So I'm not worried. But I decided to start re-recording eventually because, well, the Dutch are doing very, very well in terms of invading the UK, which I wanted to save for last. As you can see, the U the Dutch and some of the Russians are uh, doing very well over here in Bristol, and they actually have a port in Cardiff. I think it's Cardiff, right? In Wales, whatever it is. So, yeah, we're doing really, really well. Also, I developed a massive navy. At least, in terms of massive navy, I mean a lot of subs. Lots and lots of subs. And I do have my, a regular navy with five carriers, so I'm doing pretty darn well, which you just saw. And we are always out of steel, because I am trying to always build a massive fleet. Massive. Absolutely massive fleet. Which is down by Australia, which you saw a little bit earlier. But, I think it's time for us to navally invade. Oh, boy. Actually... Ah, you guys were slung off because I started naval invading all sorts of other areas, right? Or was it you guys that I wanted you guys to invade? I can't remember. Oh, you guys you guys got to invade. It's actually over here. I also took out parts of the Middle East, as you saw. Um, you guys, go right there. I'm not sure where you guys are headed to, but go right there. If we can head on over, that'd be great. Maybe take a port, maybe we can't. The Americans are still over here in the... UK for some reason, but whatever. And can we nuke this area? No, we cannot, because we don't probably have air superiority, which really sucks. But whatever! Advanced ship torpedoes, we've researched a whole lot of stuff. So much stuff. Holy cow. Oh man, if we could win, that'd be awesome. And we immediately get attacked. Marines, go that way, please. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. And have lost a lot of guys, but so have we, but that's alright. Force the attack, get them out, get them out. Hey, good job. The Dutch obviously aren't going to get a lot of territory, and I'm going to take probably most of it, but that's okay. Hey, we got supports. There we go. Good enough. Well, I wasn't planning on the, the Dutch done doing so well, but you know what? Stranger things have happened before. You guys are down here. Well, just kind of moving around. Took out Nepal, took out Tibet. Took out a lot of areas. Quite a few areas. Lots of just raiding and convoy doing stuff. So much. Just. So much off screen. Holy cow. It took me a couple hours. I could have made a time lapse, sure, but that requires even more time and effort. And, like, I don't have time for this right now. So I apologize, but I just can't always do a time lapse. Sometimes, but not always. Head on to Australia, please. They were sinking a bunch of Australian ships. Actually, I want to show you how many ships I've sunk. Navy wise, equipment details. Lost ships. I've lost five. I've killed 2,600. Or actually, more like 2,500. Uh, in the current month, we've sunk pretty much mostly convoys, of course. Last month, mostly convoys. Older, current year, the 47 Imperial Conference. Well, that's not going to last very long. I've sunk heavy ships, convoys, subs, cruisers, we, you name it. We are a, a very strong navy. Like, incredibly strong. Uh, actually, I also wanted to develop, like, a super heavy battleship hull, but we don't have enough time for that in this campaign. Which really sucks. You always get this so late. Or actually, you get it relatively early, actually. But by the time you can actually put them on and maybe use these guys, it's just too late. It's really disappointing. It's alright, though. Make some more convoys, because we have enough ships as is. Cool. Hopefully we can invade Darwin and do a good job. Alright, boys. Oman is gone. Oh, man. Oh, we landed. And we landed again. What type of guys are these? Uh, well, that's kind of weird. They have cavalry mixed in there, too, and infantry. Or engineers, I should say. Fine with me, as long as you can't win. Hey, there goes Canada. Thank goodness. Hopefully Mexico does not become a great power. Because that would suck. Also, China's in our faction. I should, probably should have explained that a little bit earlier. China is in our faction because they went to war with the British and the Portuguese, who we were both at war with, uh, over Macau and those islands and... Not islands. Well, actually, technically the peninsulas. Well, actually, no. Hawaii's, Hawaii? No. Hong Kong is in islands. I think. So, they went to war with them. And I'm like, you know what? If you want to join us, why not? The Habsburg and the Chinese have always worked together very well. Wow. Also, this is happening because I put all my sh my subs around the aisles. 
So they're they're doing some work. They're doing a lot of work. Wow. So many ships going bye-bye. The Dutch have just gone nuts. Which I, I will probably give them I'll, I probably won't give them France, but I'll give them maybe the Benelux. Actually, how much manpower does France do the Dutch have? They're actually doing really, really well. They're on all adult serve, but hey, you know what? 120 divisions? Sounds good to me. I stopped making more divisions except for garrisons, so. I mean, how many can we kill off here? Oh, the UK's about to go. Yes. 290 factories. I mean, we've killed... I've raided a lot of ships. Holy crap. New Zealand's lost half a million men. Are there even half a million people that live in New Zealand at this time? Probably. Maybe. How many people lived in there? In New Zealand during World War II? It is 47, so. Governor of Iraq? Nope. Nope. They still have about 10 to 11,000. They're scraping the barrel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just, just not that many people there. Oh, where are you guys at? You guys are all the way up here. And <laughs> we took Scotland for some reason. Okay. All right. Why not? Have you guys go to Belfast? I mean, we were just killing people left and right as they were, you know, on their little shippies. There we go. Armor piercing cap medium shells. Doesn't even matter. Light basic batteries, why not? Russia, please. I don't need your 38 divisions. Please, please, please. Oh, look at that. Some friendships. Nice. And we, I have... Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, the carrier's gone. So good. Yeah, we put a lot of planes in here. I mean, a lot of planes. Cool. I guess I was, I was thinking about going to war with America, but at this point, I'm just kind of tired of this campaign, I guess I'll say. Just because I said that at the end of last episode, too, I'm like, I'm just a little tired of it. We went to war with the three major factions, and we're doing pretty well. I think that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I apologize if the last episode was a little ragey. It was a little ragey for me, but I was just kind of tired. And I took a break between this episode and the last, and basically took a nap, or I really went to sleep. So, what's going on over here? Y'all, Poland in this mod is very strong, if you know what to do. If you know how to use Poland... She can be very, 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 very strong, especially once you defeat at least one of the major factions, which is always great. And I can't wait to do the peace deal, because that would be a lot of fun. A lot of fun for the peace deal. A very, very good. Oh, oh, we got so many nukes. So many nukes. Where are those strategic bombers? Oh, we got even more bombers now. Cool. Oh, you don't have any airplanes down there, or air bases really yet. Well, we'll get them eventually. Oh, they're over there. That makes sense. We have so many nukes. Like, I built 50 nuclear reactors. Like, I was not sure what else to build. And also, we have 17 million manpower because we had the 10% more recruitable population bonus factor because of... Oh, we have colonial exploitation. We also have colonial troops plus 5% more non-core non manpower. We have the Royal Armed Forces. And we get about 45,000 a month. It's quite a few dudes. Quite a few dudes. Awesome. Going to do some jet engines. Military Police 4, thank you. Uh, signal companies, because we can. Modern torpedo ship launcher stuff. Light cruiser, heavy cruiser, whatever cruiser type you want. Eight more subs, because we make so many subs. Hey, another carrier, great. Oh, I've got two carriers in here. Oh, we just sunk 11 destroyers? Nice. Those poor Mexican ships. If only they had a chance. There you go. Start sinking them. Sink them and stink them. Alright, can we nuke Australia? I want to nuke Australia. Please, I want to nuke somebody here. Oh, that range is not good enough. That's fine. And hopefully we can. Just make sure Mexico does not become a major power. Please. Oh, God. Can't nuke up here. Can we nuke over here? Yes, we can. That'd be kind of bad, though, for the roads. Actually, this is part of Central Australia. Do it anyways, because we can. Oh, hello. The atomic bombing of Central Australia. The atomic era has truly begun. Cool. Now we ruin the roads. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, let's get some more supplies through here, then. That'd be good. Anything else? No. Like, basically, like, batteries. Get some super heavy armor-piercing shells, because you can. Mm, more anti-air is always nice. Secondary batteries, why not? More anti-air. Ooh, yeah, get some of that stuff too. We can. Oh, we can't. God dang it. Hmm. 
Man, when can we improve the infrastructure here? Come on. Australia, what are their sh what are they like? Oh, good amount of manpower. Cracking them whips. Plenty of divisions. Oh, there's it's not looking good for them. Alright. Put you guys over there. That'd be fine. Put you guys. Another carrier. Yes. Infinite carriers. Alright, so you guys can stop doing this area. I want y'all to do this. Completely surround the island of Australia and her islands. So, come over here, manage subjects. Belarus. Belarus. And we're suppressing our subjects because we can. Nope, not the UAE. So, at first I thought this guy's name was Ted Kaczynski. I'm not sure why. It's, I said Tad K. I'm like, Ted Kaczynski? Well, probably not. Oh, how are you guys doing? Can you guys uh, go make him go bye-bye? Please make him go bye-bye. I doubt we have any strategic bombers over here, do we? So many planes. Spitfires, hunters. Yeah, I don't think so. Interwar bombers. Can't deliver fat payloads and tactical bombers. That kind of sucks. It's alright, though. We won anyways, pretty much. There you go. Oh, you guys are over there? What the heck? Oh, Rush will get it. That's fine. Nice. Wait, let's be nuclear bombed Australia once. That's kind of nice. Have anything here yet? Anything here yet? Oh my goodness, it takes so long. Some more ports on here. I don't think... Well, actually, I don't know. I've never been to Australia, but I know that this is pretty much a desert and most people don't actually live here. Uh, regarding that, like, is this supposed to be impassable terrain? I guess technically you could probably go through it if you really, really, really wanted to, but might seem a little crazy to do so. What I told you guys to come over down here? The tanks were doing really well in Africa, but they got, like, really, really heavily damaged, and we were lacking light tanks for quite a while, so. Anything else around here? Expand coal mines? We need to own Cameroon. Or is it owns Cameroon as, and is a subject. If we had these as colonies, we could dig for them. Magnify the fears of APRA. Peru gets less stability. Okay. Win over the Lima elites. Cool. Establish a protectorate of Peru. Cool. Oh, and the Paraná plot. Smuggle military equipment into the region to help upset Brazil. Send soldiers disguised as immigrants to rile up Polish lands. Ooh. All right, then. We get a colonial administrator. Less political power, more support, more daily support for underline, and less consumer goods for them. Don't mind if we do. Okay, we just took over Peru. South American plantations. Hold on, what the heck? Oh, also, I did give Peru, like, Ecuador earlier, just so that we wouldn't have nearly as many things happening, like, over there. So we can limit the amount of lag. Also, same thing with Panama. Panama's kind of big over here, if you look at them. Just help limit lag, and, like, make sure that Guatemala doesn't, or Nicaragua, which are one of those two states, like, just pumps out divisions like crazy. And that was... That's a bit ridiculous. So we could just straight up puppet these guys. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, why not? Welcome. Welcome in, Habsburgs. And the allies are now Mexican colored green. Oh my goodness. Mexico's a great power. God dang it. Oh, why? Why Mexico? Must, why must you pain me? When, wait, when do we get six armies on this group? How many divisions does America have? Probably too many. Yeah, probably way too many. Super heavy armored shells. Cool. Oh boy. If that's the case, someone might be able to invade Mexico if we're smart enough. But only if we're smart enough. If that's the case, I'm going to have all of you guys. Where are you at? You're over there. You're over there. You're down there. And you're over there. Cool. I guess technically we could go to war with the U.S. if we really, really wanted to. I'm not really interested in that. But we could try it, maybe. We can fight through the Americas. And then uh, do really well, maybe. Maybe we'll do okay. 
What is this? Request manpower for the garrisons? To maintain their policies, current total four manpower are in their stock. Why? Oh, I don't mind helping them a little bit. I mean, we got plenty. We get 161,000 every month. It's so nice when you own all of Africa, a massive chunk of Asia and Europe and stuff like that, but okay. Why not? Where are we? Oh yeah, Australia. Oh, we should get more ports, more access to goods. Oh yes, Central Australia, thank you. Let's help out probably as well, get some air bases here. Cool, we're doing a great job down here. I just wish we could force attack. Which we can't for some reason. Unit leaders wounded or sick, okay. Yeah. Ted K would be wounded or sick or whatever. And goodbye. Anyone else still alive that can become a major power? I knew Mexico would become a major power, or probably would become a major power eventually. If we have to go to war, I'm just going to do this off screen just because I, well, most of it off screen because I don't want to deal with that. Oh my goodness. That's going to take a couple hours, or maybe not a couple hours, but. Quite a bit of time for me to kill off the American American nation. Oof. All right, everyone. Sorry about that, but OBS crashed as we were trying to take out Australia. But they're pretty much done now. I've left some uh, actually our carriers down there because right now we are pretty much going to go ahead and go to war with the United, with the United States once these guys get to where they need to go, and we have a war goal available until September fifth. Um, guys, why are you staying here? I'm pretty sure I gave everyone here orders to uh, come over to America, please. Please come to America. Australian operative captured. Cool. Okay, what what the heck? Why are you guys not doing anything? Please move. If that's the case. Oh, God, we're going to manually do this for you then. Whee! Go ahead. Move. Move. Alright, anyways, yeah. I don't know. When I'm on this day that I'm recording this video. A lot of uh, the videos, or just in general, OBS has not been doing very well for me. This has crashed quite a few times. And we said some of you 20 combo with divisions. We gotta make you guys 40 combo with a minimum. That's the case. Have you guys train whenever you guys can. Do we have enough forces on the line? Excuse me. It looks like, for the most part, yes, which is a good thing. Also, I don't want to forget about Alaska. Alaska's all the way up here. And the Cypher for Greece is done. Cool. So you can just kind of. Watch out for Mexican convoys. I guess technically we could probably invade Mexico by ourselves, but whatever. We do have Peru here. Peru? Peru. Oh man, they got a lot of factories down there. Well, I guess they're already in the war, so. Now let's build this up a little bit more. A little more, 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 more. And I guess technically we could go to war with Colombia. 160 days, whatever. Alright. Cool. Ecuador joins. Uh, Ecuador. Oh, you're over there. Hello, Ecuador. Nope. Liberia. Nope. Please tell me you guys are at least making it over there. At least they're now trying to make it to the group over there, the Americans. Americas. I'm, I don't really care about taking New Zealand. For the love of God, I hope they don't become a major power. I can't imagine New Zealand being a major power. Mexico is. They only have 32 factories. They're probably out of space. We've killed off half a million of them anyways. I'm hoping that since we do have naval superior, superiority over here, that the Chinese get involved and just kind of kill them off. That's my hope, but you never know. Three carriers, two carriers, two carriers, and two... We got so many carriers. I love it. So many carriers. Hopefully we can do well and don't get sunk by the American Navy because they have a massive fleet. A better mechanized. Sure. Modern tanks, yes. There you go. Just in case. Do about plus five. There you go. Can't wait for the peace deal to see what happens, but that's okay with me. We got that stuff done. I it doesn't really matter to me. Improved fire control systems. Why not? Logistics. Oh, crap. I'm not ready for America. Oh, come on, man. Come on. We were not ready for this. We were absolutely not ready for this. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? I'm gonna have a fallback line here. Uh, you guys actually do this thing. God dang it. Well, I wasn't gonna show you everything anyways, just because it's gonna take some time for me to kill them off anyway. So let's do that if we can. Boom, 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 boom. If we do that, be great. Go ahead and retreat if you can. Well, I did just want to sh show you guys that, well, we will be fighting the Americans soon enough. We got plenty of task forces. 
Oh, guys are in the water, though, probably. Oh, God, no. Oh, good lord. No, 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 no. Hopefully, our navy can tie them up for long enough, though. That is a hope of mine. Hopefully, we can do well. Because America has a massive fleet, as per normal. Can you guys actually, you know what, go ahead. See, if, can you just wallop them? Oh, if we can attack through the western side of the continent, that'd be so good. Actually, it looks like we might be able to. Hold on. Before we see anything else, the Americans finally joined the Allies in 48. Um, let's see. 1910, 411. That's a massive navy. Up to 700 divisions. Plenty of factories, but we have more than double there, so. Poland is a juggernaut, you could say. Oh, crap. That's not good. No, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. That's not good. If anything, you guys gotta just retreat this way. Good. And then both of you retreat this way. We don't want to get in a circle here. That'd be very, very, very bad. Oh, crap. Don't lose. Please don't lose. That is so not good. Hey, we're cu cruising down here, though. What's going on around here? Uh, you guys. Good luck with that. You guys are still somehow making it up here. I don't know how you're doing it, but keep going. We've lost 1.79. The Americans have lost... Well, there's Malaysians. The Americans have lost just a few... Oh, holy crap. That's a lot of guys lost. But it won't matter. They have plenty enough manpower. I'm kind of glad I waited until right now to go to war with these guys, because at least it's 1v1 right now. Pretty much. I mean, they, still, they still have Mexico with them, but, you know, whatever. Oh, looks like a heavy cruiser. Nice. Some convoys, some convoys, convoy, convoy, probably convoys, convoys. Hey, another heavy cruiser. Another convoy. Another convoy sunk. Another convoy. Oh, lost a convoy. American oh, hold on. Oh, what is this battle? We lost two subs for a battleship. 1940s battleship and a... Heavy cruiser, not bad. That's I'm okay with that then. Take out Alaska if we can, that'd be great. Oh, Crudderinos. Oh, you guys got cut off. That is so sad. Build up some ports so you can get out of there. Oh, for the love of God, please get out of there. Lost a plane. And I did put some naval bombers on this area of the sea, so. So be it, so be it. If you guys could do just push a little bit more, that'd be awesome. I don't think we have a cipher for America done yet, though. Got a lot of countries in here. Oh yeah, we do. Go ahead. Get more breakthrough. Go, go, go. Oh, God. And if we can't... Oh, what the heck? This is disgusting. What is this? Fine. You've got more manpower. It's fine with us. we got plenty, so... Alright. They've already lost over a million. Which is basically nothing to America. So, yeah. We're going to struggle here quite a bit. Quite a bit. Even over here, we're going to struggle here quite a bit. Look at this. Oh, they got so many... Oh, my goodness. It says one, but there's quite a few, actually. Ooh, if you guys could hurry up, please, please, please. You should be led by this guy, Ivan. Good, good, good. How did you... You guys actually made it. Holy cow. I want you to go on the offensive, actually. Immediately go on the offensive, see what you can do. Oh, boy. That's not looking great. But I'm also worried about this area, too. So, we'll see. I'm also worried about this as well. So we'll see. <laughs> oh man. So many things happening. We cut off 1.17. Not bad. They have 777 factories, or 778, or 80. They have just about 600 divisions, which is going to be a pain in the butt to kill off. Ladder shooting is good. You get even more attack. Absolutely. They have a quarter million manpower left. Let's see if they can keep up their counts the manpower they are on extensive conscription as long as we keep putting boys in the water and we can sink them that's all that really matters oh boy convoys going bye bye lots of convoys going bye bye tanks are doing a great job so far Ooh, let's see yeah you guys are doing okay another god dang i make so many carriers i love it anyone have upgrades do you have any upgrades stefan I don't think I'll be able to capitulate these guys very soon. I'll probably do some stuff off screen just so we can speed up this this video a little bit more. Uh, visibility. I don't mind air controller, but those are none of the good traits I really want for a guy commanding carriers. Columbia joins the 
Okay. Well, there goes my focus. Or my justification for him. So be it. Hey, another heavy cruiser. Nice. Convoy sunk. More convoys. Kenya, no, thank you. Convoys. Hey, we sunk another coastal defense ship. It was like a heavy cruiser or something. What the heck? Hold on. Who was in there? Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys can't really... Well, it says you guys can win. But you kind of aren't. And it's going to raise up our capture ships, but at this point it doesn't really matter. I need to... Inf oh, they're mobilizing. They're mobilizing. They just got 100,000 more manpower. Losses. We're going to be over way over... Probably 3 million by the time we're done here. 1.35 million dead Americans. So be it. Oh, they're attacking us back as well. We do own that, so that's kind of nice. And of course, the Mexicans are also helping them out, which makes sense. Please get rid of these guys. Come on, go, 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 cut them off, kill them off. Ah, oh, should not retreat over the river. That sucks so much. You know what? Just gonna hold then. Let them attack us. We gotta get our strength back. And. Oh, it's still active for eight days. We're still active. Nice. Cool. Convoy sunk. Hopefully someone invades these guys down here. Ooh, American stuff. More convoys. Convoys, probably. Convoys, convoys. Con Ooh, three heavy cruisers. Nice! Integrated convoys for defense. Convoys, convoys. We lost a sub. One of the few subs we actually lost. So we're done. Finally with our naval auction. Ooh, we're done with that stuff. I'm done with this stuff for the most part. Signal companies. I don't think I'm even, I'm even using signal companies. It's alright, though. Nice, there you go. That's what we like to see. How about you just hold? More divisions? Nah, we good, Russia. We good. As cool as that is, nah, we good. Alright, come on, guys. I know it's going to be quite painful to do, but y'all can do it. Give the airbase? Yeah, we do. That's good. Let's see. Plenty of planes. Boom, boom. Throw them right over here. West Coast, where we got tons of enemies, tons of enemy planes, tons and tons and tons and tons. They've got one and a half million. We're at two point zero five. We've got plenty of manpower. They're still raising their conscription level, which is pretty normal. Tons of divisions, tons of ships. I'm really worried where their fleet is, because if you find the American Navy, they're going to be like, no, 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 and we're going to be like, oh no, that's huge. Another sub is a gunner, but that's okay. Because we got three more coming along. Cool. Improved fire control. Doesn't matter. Awesome. Research doesn't really matter at this point either. Just do the next one. Doesn't matter. Oh, now they're attacking us again. Great. Yeah, we killed these guys off too. Very nice. Mexicans and Americans helping each other out. Nope. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. How's uh, Alaska looking? Oh, it's not looking great. Do that, do this, and then do that. There you go. The Chinese are kind of here. Seattle, we're barely holding on to Seattle. I'll help give them some more radar. That'd be good. Good. Well, actually, come on. So much in construction. Q. Uh, wow. So much. Two point five is going up to two point one point eight. Soon enough, they'll have as many casualties as we do. I don't think I can believe the Americans dry right now. But we'll try. We will try. They're at half a million manpower again. Plenty of divisions. Haven't really sunk anything. We do, we do probably need to move our navy out of here. Because we can sink enemies' convoys really nicely, but... Doesn't really matter. Just keep sinking whatever we got around here. I think it's time for me to move out of here. It's time to get a little bit more aggressive here. And probably here and here. Probably. More subs? Yes, we do. Need them. Light cruisers? Yes, we do as well. Good luck. We're gonna need it. More soft attack, more organization, good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
It's like an end game boss here. America. Oh, wow. It's like a, oh, six out of one. Wow. We're attacking them. They're attacking us. It's a good time all, all around. They're almost at two million losses. Good. Oh, they got back out of what? That is not good. Uh, I'd recommend you guys go this way, actually. Keep them in place. Magnetic mines. Good. Naval mine damage. Not bad. Make sure we get back Ottawa. What's a Mexican state like? What do they have down here? Kind of communist. Got off a lot of ships. Half a million manpower and all adults serve. And a couple divisions. Not that many, but a couple divisions. Alright, we've got plenty of ships up here. Kind of watching out for where the American Navy is. This might not be over there, though. Just don't lose Seattle. 2.18, 2.07, good. Hey, they might be done mobilizing, maybe. 353,000? Obviously, that's not very good. For us, right now, are we, do we have any resistance? Yeah, we do have a little bit of resistance. Uh, infiltration risk. Go to Intel Network in DC. And you... Even more military factories? God dang. Do it over here in California. The West Coast. See what we can find. Mechanize. There you go. Do some more of that. That's fine. This thing's so incredibly bloody. Holy crap. I don't have enough divisions on the line. Probably. Well, hold on. We even got... We got Chicago. You guys are nuts. I'm going to actually give you Guerrilla Fighter. That's fine. This is an incredibly weak line. You know what? Reform it. Let's stop attacking. I did not know we were sneaking down through Wisconsin for this. Holy... Oh, no, 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 no. You go right there and that's all you're going to do. There you go. Like that. Good luck. We're going to need it. Oh, they're poking themselves into here, huh? Not today. Wow. That division is not looking very good from Ecuador. Wow, was theirs. Ottawa, that's not looking good either. And, well, frankly, I don't want this episode to go on too long, so I'll be right back, and we shall be mostly done with America when I see you next. All right, my friends, sorry about that, but here we are. The United States has finally collapsed. It's August 12th, 1949, and that's actually looking really, really clean. Too bad we got to screw up how it's going to look and make it even cleaner and finally take out Mexico and Panama, I guess. I guess Panama went to war with us as well. And, yeah, so I will show you the casualties in just a moment. Let's do this. Let's do that. Casualties. I've inflicted... Eight and a half million casualties, which is definitely not as much as I thought we would. I've lost roughly three. Not bad. I mean, I just kept continuously attacking and part of it to just kill them off. It just raid everything they got in the water. I've lost quite a few subs. And I've actually moved my other navy over here close to Florida. So, that's a couple planes. A couple things here. Actually, I've lost quite a few subs. Holy cow. Uh, we're still not looking too bad, though. But this navy under Yosef Unrug lost, like, I'd say at least 30 subs. Regardless, let's take a look at the ship counter. Haiti joins the Allies. Well, what am I supposed to say? In one battle, we sunk 12 light uh, destroyers, probably. So, uh, what else? Battles over time, we've lost. We sunk quite a few convoys, of course. Subs, light hulls, motorized rocket artillery. Research doesn't matter anymore. Uh, last month, two heavy ships. We lost probably 30. We have lost 30 subs. Yeah, there, there we go. I sunk an American cruiser, so I sunk so much. Oh my goodness. I have sunk so much. I love doing naval stuff. I'm a, I'm a very weird person in the Hoi 4 community. I love using my ships. I love making cool ship templates and stuff. Or just really, really good ship templates. Also, we can annex Russia, which I'll do after the peace deal, just because why not. Oh, and do the Ukraine as well. There you go. Actually, Ukraine. Can I send some lend to you guys? Let's see. What can we send the Ukraine? Well, maybe 16,000 of these thingies. 1, 2, 3, 7. 1, 2, 3, 7. And then maybe... How about... There you go. Please accept. Thank you. Go cool. And Mexico is not going to be that difficult to take out. Please let this be the last nation we need to take out for the major powers. New Zealand, please do not become a major power. <laughs> they still are stuck with 37 factories. It was 34 earlier, but that's not bad. 
Mexico has actually made quite a few more divisions than where we last saw them, but you know what? I don't think they'll be able to stop us. I have a very good feeling that they will not be able to stop the might of the Habsburg Empire. Actually, can we put a Habsburg on the Mexican throne? War measures. Ooh, Abraham. Set up a provisional government in America. Rebels create collaboration government. Eh, at this point, I don't think so. Pressure mines. Launch Polish Revolution in Paranya. Ooh. Uh, we could do that as occupied the Paranya region. I'd rather do South African plantations. Cool. Foreign influence. Yeah, that stuff doesn't matter. Just please capitulate them. Go, 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 go. And you guys who are dealing with insurrections up here, which is fine. Let's just get to it. Oh man, we have 20 million. Jesus Christ. Just in terms of population for civilians, 1.37 every month. That's a lot of population. That is quite a bit. Now we have another slot here too. Cool. Uh, doesn't really matter. Heavy tanks. Why not? This actually might be too many guys around here, so just kind of... Okay then, hello Uruguay, there you go. I'm only going to use one guy here just because it's probably just better. Make it easier for everyone. Oh, also we have some planes up here too. They're relatively independent. There you go, good luck. Ooh, and we don't need that, we don't need this, we don't need that, and now focus more on Mexico. Thank you! Cool, oh my goodness, how many Mexicans are we killing? Jesus Christ. 2.13. Holy snap. Yeah, they're looking definitely not strong in some of these divisions. Holy, look how many divisions they have. Oh my goodness. Just break down to get there. Oh, we need to get this area too. That's fine. That's what light tanks are for. And I did put some I did put some modern tanks in our light tank divisions. Even though it's only like two battalions, so not very much, which is fine. And I'll show you right now. These tanks have Light tanks and modern tanks in them. Three armor versus, well, no armor, I guess. Huh. Supposed to be, 50, supposed to be 57, so. Yeah, two modern tanks have 260 armor, while 13 light tanks have 390. Light tanks really don't have much, do they? Whoop, slowly get rid of the Ukraine, because we can. Uh, since we're here, Belarus... Lend lease. Here is a crap ton of equipment. Oh, now we're thinking. Oh, American task forces. Yeah, don't mind if we do. Convoy, 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 convoy. Tons of convoys going by, 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 by. And I love it. All right, do we have Mexico City? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I don't think Mexico. Mexican guys, come on. I think give it up, man. You can still live. I've killed off most of your friends anyways. Mexico, come on. Actually. Actually. Hmm. Who are those strategic bombers? Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, Mexico City. Oh, you're looking a little weak there, Mexico City. Actually, why do we have two greens? Attack. We're attacking the mountains. And another green's over here. Cube. What's everyone joining in now? Please don't tell me Cube is a major power. Panama is a. Ma How the heck is Panama a major power? That is something I'll never understand. Panama the major power? Yeah, I don't think so, man. I'm just saying, I don't think so. What are you guys? I just keep forcing the attack. They'll die. They will literally die where they're standing if they want to. It's up to them, man. It's up to them. Do we have the bombers here yet? No, we don't. Toad do rocket artillery? Cool. We might have just taken Mexico City. No, the state next to them. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else? There they are. It took quite a while. But then again, there's probably quite a bit of lag, so. I don't want to nuke that. Let's see. Panama City? Panama? Can't nuke that, which is fine. You've got a port here. Can't nuke that. What can I nuke? I can't nuke anything. Hmm. We need more air superiority, of course. They're literally just going to die in Mexico City. Like, that's not good, man. It's not good for your health. Just saying. 
Look at that. Literally 4% strength. 0% strength. Mexico City was completely cut off. <laughs> oh, Mexico, please. I don't want to... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That was nice. Hey, level 8. Oh, my goodness. Level 9. Oh, the poor tanks. They will die in Mexico City. I guess that's not enough to capitulate them up. Al Capuco, huh? Oh, never mind. We got him. Sir, we've got him. Time to get rid of the rest of these guys. I can't imagine Panama has that many divisions. Go, 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 go. You guys race down here. Cool. Oh, look, 13 more subs. Don't mind if we do. Seven more. Oh, my goodness. We make so many ships. Cool. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Keep doing this area. That'd be fine. And do the Caribbean as well. Might as well. Alrighty tighty. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. Cool tanks. Some um, more heavy tanks, because we can. The Chinese are here, too. Go the Chinese have made it to the front lines before we did. How many divisions does Panama have? None. For the love of God, just get down here right now. I know supplies suck. And actually, I'm going to start building some naval bases here. So we get more supplies through here. That'll be good. Can I annex anyone else? Yes. Oh, Peru? Would that be worth it? Eh, we could. But then we wouldn't be able to annex those guys. I'd rather annex Russia. Cost 300 political power, which is fine. Which will probably do that. How many more divisions have to die? Come on, seriously. This is a, this is a bit just too ridiculous in my mind. How can they all just like just hold on? And they make Panama, of all things, a major power. That's why I usually don't like doing world conquest, but this is probably one of the few times I'll actually do it again. Uh no one has upgrades, of course. You guys are probably home. Hanging out, having a good time. Four more subs. Oh wow, two division, two subs there. Jesus Christ, that's not good. We st we have ninety subs now, which is good, but still. You can counter anybody. Just kill them. There you go. Cut these guys off. Improve armored cars. Get some stuff like that. Get some basic Amtraks. Doesn't matter at all at this point. Maintenance fours because you can. Uh, throw off this. Put on armored recon companies. Get rid of the support artillery and replace it with maintenance company. There you go. Something a little different. And slightly more armor. Hey, look! An encirclement! Kill them off, please. Good. We're getting down there. How many? Wait, what? You said you had zero divisions! You literally said you had zero divisions! Now you came out with 200? No, 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 no. That's not cool. That's, that's gotta be AI cheats or something. Holy crud. You had zero. Oh, is it? I thought I saw zero. I'm pretty sure I saw zero. Why can't we use... Oh, we don't have no command power, which makes sense, but... Does it make sense? Are we using command power anywhere else? Besides here? No, no... Nowhere else. Huh. Go figure. Nuke it. Nuke it. Nuke it again. Kill the divisions off. Oh, that'll help us out. Until it actually destroys all the infrastructure and you can't move down here, which really sucks. But that's just me. Nice. Don't make me nuke you again. Okay, I'll nuke him again. Goodbye. 
Very nice. Very, very pretty bright colors, right? Can I nuke? Oh, I can. I can nuke Columbia. Nuclear radiated jungles. Don't mind if we do. Oh, we don't have enough range, probably. Yeah. Nice. You want to do that again? I want to do that again. Oh, man. The jungle's going to be very hot down here. Very hot. How many have I killed? Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. Not enough. That is a real answer. Always not enough. Uh, if we nuke ports, do, can we actually nuke ships? I mean, I don't understand. Do, do these ships get hit as well? I mean, only 137 or 5 nukes left, but still. I mean, how many times do I have to nuke them until the divisions disappear? Oh, 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 oh man. There's a lot of explosions. I'm sorry, it's a little bright down there. It's just... There's so much radiation going on down here. This guy's gotta be dead. I mean, any survivors, they just get continually nuked. I love it, but jeez. Jeez Louise. I'm really surprised that no one has actually tried to navally invade these areas yet. And we have 21 million manpower and two, over 2,000 factories. Jesus. So much. Nukes are just so underwhelming in this game. It's, yeah. Just in Hoi 4 in general. Cool, modern tank destroyers. Cool. Sounds like fun. Nuke Panama. Oh, they're not going to give you a lap. No, 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 no. You got to go straight. Boom. Just don't nuke your own soldiers. There you go. Just in case, I'm going to keep nuking Panama until those soldiers get over there. So, oh, I probably... How many times did I nuke them? I've only killed a third of a million. Man, come on. Yeah, you should be able to win basically instantly. <laughs> With the amount of nukes I've dropped. Woo! God, it's almost like we're an American. Almost like Douglas MacArthur. Uh, wait, are those my nukes? I didn't forget about you guys. There we go. Ah. Finally. Alright, so we'll give the Dutch some good stuff. They'll get the Isles, and Belgium, and Luxembourg. A truly united Benelux. Cool. And this will probably end the campaign, which is a good thing, because we should probably move on from time to time. Uh, you can have that too. You know what? You can have Denmark as well. There you go. China. China. You can have Tibet. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you probably need, right? Oh, you can have Japan as well. There you go. reminds me of Russia. There you go. Thanks for playing. And I'm probably just going to take everything else. Lithuania? Cool. Latvia? Yes. Switzerland? Yes. Norway? Australia? Liberia? Get out of here. Yes, thank you. Take all states. Port uh, Iraq? Polish? Or really Habsburg? Iraq? So many nations have to get taken out. Oh my goodness. Bhutan, Yemen. I don't think people are really going to complain about me taking this stuff. I'm just going to take out all of America because you can as well. Cool. Malaya, might as well. Panama. Ecuador. Colombia. I don't know why Uruguay decided to join the war at the last minute. Estonia, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Portuguese Angola, the Raj would be good as well. New Zealand, oh finally yes, you guys, Mexico, very good, we should be almost through this. Philippines, eh? Don't mind us, we're just gonna take whatever we think we deserve. Ah. I 
very good. Man, it's so laggy. So laggy when we, you just see the the score just dropping. Cool, and the rest of the UK will be ours. Oh my god, come on. Should not lag that much, my friends. Should not, but it does. Cool. It's a very Habsburg-dominated world, which now well, it's going to lag probably even more once I annex Russia. And maybe even the Ukraine or Belarus, if possible. Alright, wow. That's just a little bit more world tension if you look at that. Only 400% world tension. We've only caused at least 300% of it. Oh, we ain't done yet. We've got... Well... Oh, China, no, Russia got one state. Oh, Enterprises, cool, 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 cool. And, okay, I thought I'd pause the game. Thank you, Peru. Looking not too bad over here. Wow, a lot is nice. And this is going to really make it really laggy, so I apologize for it. So you might want to skip ahead about a minute. But now we have, what, the Ukraine, we have Belarus, we have China, we have the Dutch East Indies, of course, Netherlands, we have Ireland, still kind of independent, the Ukraine... Ooh, and we should have all of South America there, but I'm pretty much done with this campaign. We only have 22 million manpower, not enough, of course. Uh, less than 2,000 factories, but once we annex Russia, we should have that much. And China is asking for manpower. Look at that. They're asking for manpower. That's absolutely wild. Why would China, when they're basically completely unified, maybe except for Mongolia, ask for manpower? I only have 22 million. That's all I got, but we have... We stretch from all the way to Southeast Asia in Siam, or Vietnam, to the very tip of Brittany. And there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. Uh, I enjoyed it for a while, and I still did enjoy it in the end, but... Sure. There's some manpower. But, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.